Okay, I'm going to do a real quick video on how to plot a course. Um, this is how you would plot a course if you were in the middle of the hike um, and you don't have the time or the setting to, uh, to do this very thoroughly. You need to do this quickly and accurately, so this is how you'd do it. So for example, let's say we'd like to go from this point here, or call this point A, at the end of this road, and you're shooting for the end of this next road here at point B. So the first thing you would do is you'd want to mark those two points. You want to try to keep those the, your marking not too large, but large enough to see. Um, and you do want to be careful not to puncture your map when you're doing this. So you want to make sure you have a solid flat surface underneath your map. And this may be difficult in the field, so you may have to get creative. So I've put two dots at my point A and point B. The next thing you want to do is draw a straight line. To do this, I used uh, what the military issues as their map tool, um, as their, uh, yeah, just as their basic map tool. I placed it right up against those two dots, my point A and point B, if you can see that. And with my pencil, I drew in ahead and I drew the line. You want to make sure this line is dark enough to see that in, uh, and the time of day that you're going to be hiking and if it's at night you need to make sure it's dark enough or obvious enough to where you can see it so I've put my two dots my two points I've drawn a line to connect them you want to make sure your line is long enough to use with the edge of your compass so now that I have those two done the next step is to orient my map to orient your map you're going to take your compass and you're going to put your compass on north so I have my point of north 360 degrees or zero degrees at the very top, even with, right even with the marker. The next thing you want to do is line it up even with these, in line with these grid lines. You can see the grid lines running north and south on the map. Once I have the map, once I have my compass on north and it lined up with my map, now I want to rotate the map and the compass as it is until the red uh, arrow the floating arrow, the red arrow, lines up with the red arrow on the base of my compass. So now I'm going to rotate it. And that is about lined up right there. Now, oh, make sure. Now my map is oriented north. So this is how it's going to sit out in the woods, just like this. The next thing you want to do once your map is oriented north <laughs> make sure your map doesn't move, is take your compass and line the straight edge up with the line that you made from your starting point to your end point, so point A to point B. Now that mine is lined up, now I'm going to rotate the bezel of my compass until the two red arrows line up with each other. So now I'm going to rotate that. Now it is lined up. Now we have the direction or the azimuth from point A to point B. And in this case, it looks like, make sure it's focused well enough, it's between 300 degrees and 320 degrees. It's right at 310. So what I did was I wrote 310 on the map. I'm not sure if you can see that. But I wrote 310 on the line of travel. The next thing you want to do, now that you know the, the direction you're going to travel, is you want to get an idea of the distance. This is very important when cross-country land navigating. So I'm going to place the front edge of this compass. It's, it's scaled correctly to this map. And it's in miles. It's, it's a unit that I understand. And I'm going to put the zero at either the start or the finish. It doesn't really matter. And it, it appears that point A lines up just between point 0.4 and point 0.5 miles. I'm going to say point 0.4 miles. So I wrote point four or five miles on my map. So I know to get from point A to point B, I'm going to travel at 310 degrees and I'm going to travel for point four or five miles. I've learned that if you're going to be traveling off a trail, it takes about one mile an hour, uh, maybe even two miles an hour. So I'm going to say this should take me about 30 minutes to get from A to B. So that is how you plot a simple course on a map in the field.